All right, got my 17 miles per gallon average. Oh, the refresh rate is trippy. But I don't have any instant miles per gallon. What is going on here? I gotta upgrade my EVIC. While we're at it, I'll upgrade my mirror. All right, guys, the numbers are in and I'm liking them. We got 300 miles on my first tank of gas since we fixed the whole fuel pump issue with the new tank. And check it out. Average 17 miles per gallon. Not too bad. Not too bad at all. 300 miles on the first tank. 17 miles per gallon. That's with 89 octane fuel. And over the course of about two weeks, I accomplished my mission. Got to go ahead and fill this bad boy up. And hopefully we could get some even better numbers the second time around. I think I might actually have a front passenger side brake rubbing. So we'll, uh, we'll fill her up and try again. But overall, I am very pleased. New engine on a 20-year-old WJ with 175,000 miles on the body. New engine, 300 miles in the books, 17 miles per gallon. Pretty cool. Hey, what's up guys? I'm Dan H and welcome to the project. I'm over here with my new WJ and I just completed the first tank of gas since I did the whole gas tank revamp. Had to fix a little hole in the body of the vehicle while I was at it. I went ahead and refurbished my gas tank skid plate, put a new fuel pump in. I did a fuel filter and I cleaned up the EVAP system and got this baby running tip top after about a hundred miles or so. The uh, monitors cleared for the EVAP system so it will pass inspection now there's no check engine lights pending for the EVAP system it's all good I did 300 miles on the first tank of gas and I got 17 miles per gallon yes that's right so yeah here we go uh, I wanted to improve the EVIC system on this thing because unfortunately this is a 2003 and and well it is a 2003 and unfortunately that year they went ahead and they discontinued the instant miles per gallon i'm used to that on my xj's if you want to see how much fuel economy your vehicle is getting right now at that specific time you can see instant miles per gallon um, this one has average miles per gallon so i want to go ahead and put in an EVIC, uh, an electronic vehicle information center on this that is equipped with instant miles per gallon as well as average miles per gallon. I went ahead and I looked up the model number to get and I got myself one that also has the inflation system. I went ahead and got wheels that have the old uh, tire pressure monitor system in it. So I'm going to hook up an EVIC that I'll be able to have instant miles per gallon as well as home link and my pressure system. So that's going to be really cool. A uh, little upgrade I found on uh, eBay. I'll give you a list of serial numbers that pinpoint exactly which EVIC does what function. And then if you guys want to upgrade too, I'll show you how to do it. And while I'm at it, while I'm messing around up there, I'm going to remove my rear view mirror that doesn't have the auto dim feature and put in one that I have from beach jeep laying around that baby had an auto dim mirror from a wj i'm gonna go ahead and utilize that why not just laying around so here we go some wj upgrades coming up right now on the project all right step one is we got a phillips head screwdriver right over here in this hole I'm gonna access that with my my long number two <laughs> I don't know why it's this long. It's definitely overkill. I can't even get it in the same shot. <laughs> what am I doing? But here we go. One little screw. And it's still in there. I think it's stuck in there. But <laughs> anyway, now we're just going to pull down. There's little clips right on the side. One and two. There we go, she's down. All right, gonna take this EVIC down by removing some of these connectors. First one I'm gonna get is this one up front. 
This little white one here is easy peasy. The next connector I'm gonna grab is the one on the back. Just gotta undo it from this little clamp here. And then the button is actually on the underside, so you kinda just have to sneak your finger in here and then pull. I got a pick for this last connector, and I'm just gonna gently, very gently, pry out the little clasps on the side. And then once you get the other side, it should pop right down. All right, before I put the new EVIC in on a hunch, I do believe there is a plug and play feature. So I'm going to drop down these mirror clasps. There we go, one. And I'll get the second one here. And see that little braided wire in there? I have a feeling that could either be my mirror wire or maybe it's a wire to rain sensing uh, devices. So I'm um, gonna try to gently pull this down. And I think I found a mouse's nest while this was in storage. Yeah, let me get the vacuum. That's definitely a nest or something. Holy crap. All right, here is the overhead console that I just removed. Here is the serial number for the 2003 Laredo one. As you can see, it's got home link, but nothing else there. If you go over to this bad boy, this serial number is 560-427-56AG. It's got the tire pressure monitor system and home link. In my opinion, if you want to upgrade your EVIC, this is the one to get. Just look for models with this serial number and 2002 Grand Cherokees. Check limited and higher models. Now, another important difference is the color of the case. My interior has the tan. This is the gray. So right now, I'm going to go swap the actual computer from this casing. And I'm also going to change over these bulbs. These bulbs just pop out. This is not secured anyway. Stupid LEDs never worked and they were blue. I didn't care for them. Um, these are regular bulbs. I'm just gonna borrow the bulbs. This whole bulb unit and switch for the sunroof is plastic welded in place. But uh, this piece is one, two, three, four screws. I'm just gonna go ahead and swap those over right now. We are all switched over and now is a good time to replace your bulbs if you want to put real LEDs in not these crappy ones they don't they don't use these anymore these are junk get the ones that have the flat chip on it these don't fit and they're uh, they're finicky and dull so forget these things get real LEDs I got a video coming up soon we're gonna do real LEDs in the whole interior but these are 194s and I think these are T4 or T5 little wedge bases so that's it, we are good to go. Gonna get this in, but I wanna try this little mirror upgrade first. All right, we demoused. I think that's looking pretty good. Man, if I named this vehicle after the wildlife that it came with when I got it, I'd have Grey Hornet, I'd have uh, Gale the Snail, and now I got the uh, the Mousy, I got Mouser. So <laughs> I think I'm gonna stick with Grey Hornet. But this right here is where I'm looking for. And look, I just noticed, I think the plug is stashed up here. Look at that. Let me, uh, you know what, let me show you what I'm looking at. All right, here's the VIC setup. We went ahead, we removed the VIC, and now we're looking at this plastic case that holds the VIC, and, and this is what I can see up there. I can see little metal prongs. What I believe that is, I think it's a blank for the little clip that goes to the mirror. And I think that that's gonna be what this is. So hopefully we'll be able to get that in there. 
as soon as I can fish it out of here. This way I don't have to cut and splice wires, which I was very, very prepared to do. And this, of course, gets stuck to your Jeep with that sticky, gooey stuff that's in the doors, that, that butyl stuff. So I got this, <laughs> I got spare parts everywhere. I might put this in an XJ one day, uh, beach Jeep projects. I've been sitting on this for a long time, but I just used this, dug this up as a visual for you guys. I gotta go fish this thing out with one hand. Let's see if I can manage that. It does have those little hooks and clasps up there. So let me just put the camera down and I'll... <laughs> Look at that. I got it before the camera even left my hands. <laughs> that is cool. Oh man, I hope it's a plug and play option. That is exciting. Check that out. And I wonder if there's the rain sensor module up there. Probably not. It might be an entirely different wire harness. But I'll feel around, see what I can find. Nah, I didn't find it, but uh, hey, we still got this. Uh, and I'll take what I can get. That's a huge win. So here we go. This is a T20. We're just gonna go unscrew this. Well, that came off easy. There you go. Uh, flip the camera around. I could use two hands. All right. This is a uh, better fit. Oh, come on. There we go. Clicks right in. And. <laughs> slides right in. Now we're just going to recycle our T20. Remember, do not over tighten this. That's a pain to put these things back on the windshield. I did it in a ZJ and I have a video, but I really don't want to do it again. So there we go. Very loosely tighten that thing back on. And let's adjust this sort of where I want it. That's good enough for now. And we'll put in our new EVIC. All right. I get that long cord plugged in the back first. Of course, with the button down. Now we gotta reroute the wires through this little side clippy thing. Gonna plug in our sunroof controls. And finally, the little white plug for the lighting. Go ahead and line up our little clips up here. And it's gonna snap right in place. And a Phillips head screw right back in that hole to make it whole. <laughs> Corny. Corny! Don't want to forget the visor brackets. That would, uh, that would suck. I mean, it wouldn't really suck. It's not that big a deal. <laughs> it takes two seconds to install. And I didn't lose anything, so we're good. Oh, there we go. Clip these bad boys in, and we're done. Well, there we have it. My original EVIC and the new EVIC computer with a power mirror. Let's start this up, see what we got up here. Hey, courtesy lights that aren't blue. Let me close this door. Oh. Neutral safety switch. <laughs> That's a project coming up. Oh no. Oh no, I think it's Spanish. Oh, there we go. Whew. English. Huh. That was scary. Menu. US. Auto lock doors. Oh, no. Remote unlock all doors. First door. First door. Horn. Yes. Flashlights with locks. Yes. Headlamp delay off and do a 30 second delay lamps with wipers uh yeah let's be safe service 5000 let's do 4000 we use synthetic 
Reset service distance. Yes. Yes. Chime low fuel. Yes. Retrain tire sensors. Yes. Train front left tire. Quick. I need my trainer. Where's my trainer? Are you my trainer? Are you my trainer? Aha. Wait a minute. Where's my trainer? What? I'm a sexy man. Dude. Well, now we know it's a magnet. <laughs> That's the whole point of it. Uh, I almost called off the whole video because it was stuck to my jumper cables. Guess the bag opened itself and wow. All right, here we go. We got to put these on the sensors. So. Uh, these, ugh, I gotta roll forward. I'm supposed to lay it on here. Retrain sensors, yes. Train front left, all right. We got our sensor now. We're supposed to just follow the rules. Now these sensors are probably like 20 years old. I don't know if it's gonna work. So I might need new sensors. The battery is in there, could be dead. Let's see what this says. Train front left tire. Training aborted. No, I don't want to train abort. Don't want to abort the train. Menu, 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 menu. I'm stupid, guys. I figured it out. This was the first wheel I installed when I put on these new Columbia Edition wheels. This is the only one with the tire pressure sensor. The rest are just regular valves. Train front left. All right. Ready? She's gonna beep. Well, we have to abort, literally. Uh, it's supposed to beep once the magnet is placed over your sensor, and I'll have to get new sensors. Let me see what else we got here, though. All right, uh, done with the menu. Let me, uh... Well, ain't that a beaut? <laughs> now I'm getting an alert. Ah, oh, you son of a... Uh, is this going to piss me off or what? 74 degrees facing west, that is true. Let's see if we can see a little bit of our MPGs popping up. Average miles per gallon. Miles to empty. There we go. Instant miles per gallon. That's what she's all about. For all you fuel weight weenies, that's what's up. And we got blank tires. Dang it. All right, guys, so unfortunately, we're not gonna get the tire pressure monitoring system up and running in this WJ today. Unfortunately, I was stupid, and only one out of four tires has the sensors. Uh, the sensors are a firm metal stem, and the other valve stems are just flaccid rubber, which won't work, it won't. But on the bright side, I still got the VIC in. I cleaned out some mouse houses and I got a mirror that is power and plug and play. So that's really awesome. So, all right, guys, that's going to do it for this video. Remember to like, subscribe, and I'll catch you on the next project. What's next, Mayor? Uh, peace. <laughs> peace. 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 Peace.